Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to check if your phone has a recovery partition or not. So why is this check important? Well, when you flash a custom recovery like TWRP, Orange Fox or Pitch Black, you will have to verify if your phone has a recovery partition or not. This is because if your phone has a recovery partition, then you could easily flash the recovery in the recovery partition itself. On the other hand, if your phone does not have a recovery partition, then you will either have to temporarily boot to TWRP and then flash to RAM disk or flash the current TWRP via a workaround. So that is why the first step for flashing the TWRP custom recovery is to verify if your phone has a recovery partition or not. And in this video, we'll show you how to verify that. Once we have verified that, you could then refer to my guide or the video to install the recovery based on the partition scheme. So I have made both the section if your phone has a recovery partition then you could refer to this section and if your phone does not have a recovery partition then you could refer to this section i will discuss about that as well but first and foremost let me show you how to verify if your phone has a recovery partition or not so i'll be using two phones one of my phone has a recovery partition and one of my phone does not have a, have a recovery partition so let's have a check of both this phone so first and foremost you have to download android FCK platform tools download it from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your pc these are the files of the platform tool folder as you could see over here i have done the extraction so once you have done the extraction your next course of action is to enable usb debugging on your phone so for that go to the settings menu on your phone from settings menu go to about phone and tap on build number seven times on xiaomi phone you have to tap on miui version seven times once that is done go back go to system and you should now see developer option go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. You might get an RSA key fingerprint prompt. In that case, tap on OK or allow. So with this, debugging is now enabled. So let's now verify the same. So type in CMD in the address bar of platform tools folder and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside the platform tools folder as you could see. So now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging, tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting this ID. Once you are getting the ID, you could now proceed ahead and verify the recovery partition on your phone. So first off, you have to type in the ADB shell command. So just type in ADB shell and hit enter. If you are using this command for the first time, you will get a prompt on your phone. Make sure to tap on OK or Allow. Once that is done, you should now see either your phone name or the phone code name. You will see any of these two things. In my case, I am seeing the phone name which is OnePlus 70. So next up, you will now have to copy paste the second command. So simply copy this command and execute it in the CMD window as well. So just a minute, let me paste this command as well. So copy this entire command and then paste it in the CMD window and hit enter and now we are inside the platform so our last course of action is to simply copy paste this third command so copy this third command and again paste it in the CMD window and hit enter and now it will bring up a list of all the partition on your phone so from here you could easily verify in this case in oneplus 70 i have a recovery partition since my phone is a dual partition ab partition scheme it has both the a and b that does not matter. You only need to verify if your phone has a recovery partition or not. If you are simply seeing recovery, that's also well and good. If you are seeing recovery A and recovery B, that is also same. That does not matter. What you need to verify if is that whether your phone has a recovery partition or not. So in case of OnePlus 70, my phone does have, have a recovery partition and I could easily flash the WRP to the recovery partition using this command. Let me show you. So th this is for those phones which have a recovery partition. So you could directly use the password flash recovery twrp.img in this case we are flashing the recovery to the recovery partition since our phone has a recovery or you could also use one more method in this you could use the password boot command and this will boot your phone to twrp for one time usage and then you could flash the img file from the recovery itself so use the boot command then go to install select the twrp img file and then choose the recovery partition and perform a write swipe to flash and with this PWRP will flash with the recovery partition. Both these steps are applicable on those phones 
which have a recovery partition. So in my case, I have just used the one plus 70. And I have shown you in my case, it does have a recovery partition. So as you could see from here in the CMD window, it does have a recovery partition. So you could either use the powerful flash recovery, pwrp.img to flash the recovery file to the recovery partition or use the pwrp recovery itself to flash the recovery img file to its recovery partition. So now let's use a second phone. So now I'll be using one more phone. So let me simply minimize this window and open a new window. So this time around I'm using a POCO F4. So let me check out the status of this phone. So I'll plug in this phone to the PC. And first and foremost, let me verify the debugging connection. So go to settings and go to about phone. And now you have to tap on MIUI version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So now go back again, go back. Now you go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. So let's now enable debugging from here. And as you could see, it's enabled on my phone. Let me verify the debugging connection. So I'm opening a new CMD window over here and hit enter. So now type in ADB devices and as you could see, we are getting a serial ID. This signifies that our phone is in the ADB mode and we could now proceed ahead. So as before, let's type the three commands to verify if our phone has a recovery partition or not. So first off, type in ADB shell and hit enter. And you might get a prompt if this is the first time you are using this command. So as you could see in this case, I'm getting the phone code name. In my case, I'm using a POCO F4 whose code name is Munch. So I'm getting a Munch keyword. So in some case, you might get your phone keyword, whereas in other case, you might get the device name. That's one and the same thing. It does not matter. Anyways, moving on, let's now copy paste the second command. So this is the second command. Let me copy this command and paste it. Finally, let's copy paste the third command as well. So let me paste the third command and hit enter. So this time around in case of POCO F4, as you could see, there is no recovery partition. So after the rescue partition, we have the set data. So there is no recovery partition in case of POCO F4. So I cannot directly flash the TFW RP to the recovery partition. In other words, I cannot use this command fastboot flash recovery TFW RP because there is no recovery partition in this phone. So if your phone also does not have a recovery partition, then you cannot use this command. So what else can you do? Well, in short, you could first and foremost, you will have to use the boot command. Apart from that, there is no other option. So first off, use the boot command. I have explained everything in this video. I linked the video. Let me show you once again. So there is a video on which I have explained everything in detail. So please check out this video. As of now, I am only telling everything in short. So if in case your phone does not have a recovery partition, then your first course of action is to use the boot command. And with this, your phone will boot to PWRP for one time usage. And now you have to make the recovery permanent. For making it permanent, you could either flash the zip file if you have a zip file. However, in some cases, your phone might not have a PWRP zip file. So if your phone has a zip file, simply flash it. But if your phone does not have a zip file, you could either flash it to the RAM disk partition. For that, go to PWRP advanced section, select install recovery RAM disk, choose the IMG file, and flash it. Or you could use the flash current PWRP option as well. For that, again go to advanced, this time select flash current PWRP and the recovery will be flashed permanently onto your phone. So if your phone does not have a recovery partition, then you cannot use the passport flash recovery command. You will only have to use the password boot PWRP and by boot, we do not mean the boot partition. Over here by boot, it signifies that the action of the command. So here we are telling the fastboot command to boot our phone to the PWRP recovery. So let me show, explain you once again using the two commands. So as I told you before, so as you could see, there are two commands. One is the fastboot flash boot. So in this case, this is a fastboot keyword. And after that, it's the action. In this case, we are telling it to boot. And here is we are telling it to flash. And then comes the recovery partition, the partition name. In case it's recovery, so we are using the recovery. But if your phone does not have a recovery partition, then you just have to use the boot action and then skip the recovery name and type in this and your phone will boot to the TWRP recovery. I have explained everything in depth in this guide as well as in the video as well. You could refer to my video. As of now, this video is just fo focusing on if your phone has a recovery partition or not. So you just need to execute all these three commands 
and upon executing these three commands, you will either get this command. In this case, as you could see, it's for the one plus seventy. In this case, you could verify that you have the recovery partition. Whereas in case of okay four, as you could see, there is no recovery partition. So guys, just use this command. I have given the link of this guide in the description, and it will get the job done. So on that note, I round off this video. I will also link this guide on how you could flash the recovery onto your phone if you have a recovery partition or if you don't have a recovery partition. So I will linking both this guide in the description. You could refer to this guide, and if you have any queries, do leave a note in the comment section. And please like this video and subscribe to channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.